In this video, we are discussing counting with counters example. And this video will be assisted with one practical demonstration to give you the idea how to write the codes, run and implement. So counting with counters example. So in this example, we will be using batches.xml. So we are having one XML that is a batches.xml on which our program will be working, which will count the number of different batches. The batches are having different categories and there, there are three types of batches are there. One is gold, next one is silver and the last one is the bronze. So after completing the task, it will return the count of each batch type. So that's, that's the problem we are going to implement now. So let us go for one practical demonstration for the easy understanding of this concept. Under the summarization design pattern, we are going to implement counting with counters. It is a map only job. We are having the input file batches.xml, which is under the folder slash input slash batch. So this batches.xml is having multiple tags are there and multiple attributes are there. So let us go for the, the, the content of this batches.xml. So batches is one tag. Under this tag, we are having multiple number of rows are there. We are having ID. We, sh we are also having the user ID, then name, then date, then class, and then tag based. This class is having multiple values, and three values are mainly there, three, two, and one. It is a map only job. So we are having only one class. Uh, in this case and there is a class is counting MR task and as it is a map only so that's why we're only uh, extending one inner class from the mapper we're having one enumerator here so uh, there is a protected static enum containing gold silver and bronze so now this is an inner class there is a static class there and this inner class that is a counting mapper extends mapper so we are not having any kind of reducer here so we are having only class inner class that is the counting mapper which is uh, extending mapper and which is overriding the method that is a map so in this particular map we are having one hash map object xml parsed and this particular object is getting instantiated with a method that is xml to map which takes one xml as input and produces the hash map object as output and that will be uh, put onto this xml parsed now with the method xml parts dot get we are reading the class value we are reading the class tag value we have shown you that we are having one uh, field one attribute that is a class in our uh, uh, batches dot xml see this class is there it is having three values one two and three so here we are checking that with if the type dot equals one then from the context object ctx we are getting the get counter and the batches batch type counter dot gold will be incremented by one so here the gold count will be incremented by one and we know that we are having uh, this type of uh, three values are there one two and three three classes are there so for for the silver we are incrementing the value if the type is two for bronze if the type dot equals is three then the value will be incremented by one so this is my respective main function here we are checking that how many arguments we are passing the argument should be passed as two if the arguments are not passing as two say so then the respective error message will be displayed so this is the error message we are having an system.exit2 we are defining one job object and this job object will have the name count number of batches of different types so we are creating one job object and job object will have the name count number of batches of different type we are having the file input format and file output format so uh, they will be initialized with argument 0 and argument 1 we are having only mapper so that's why we are just uh, this is a, a mapper extended class so that is a counting mapper dot class and set num reduce task 0 so because there is no reducer will work here set output key so output key and output value so both are initialized with this uh, null writable so both are initialized with this null writable and here we are going to take the completion there is a status of the completion so whether it is true whether it is 0 or 1 depending upon that we can put the respective message and then the system dot exit code so in this way the main function the main method has been written here 
the respective number of types we are printing that means how many types of this gold this bronze and silver so the respective count will be also printed using this for loop so at first we shall go for the creating the jar so we shall go for this and then then the respective path name and the file name has to be given already we have created the jar file so we are leaving the scale uh, steps but after that we will be going for next and finish now let me execute my command so command is hadoop jar and the path in which the jar file will be existing so that is a map reduce design pattern jar files so this is a path in which the summarization pattern dot jar this jar file will be existing then counting counter is the respective uh, the respective package name and under that we will be having counting mr task so there is a class name input slash input slash badge is the input file path name and slash output will be the output file path name so in this way we are going to execute our command so let us execute the command we can find here that is the bytes written is equal to 0 the bytes written is equal to 0 means it is only it is a map only job so nothing will be written by the reducer but you will be getting the output in the last three lines there is a number of gold batches 5 2 3 7 number of silver batches are given number of bronze batches are given here so you can find that the respective batch count we have also got it and we have printed that one because we had that for loop at the end of the java code so from there the batch counts respective three classes have got printed so now let me come to the output folder so here is the output folder and you can find that we are having two part files but both of them are having the size of zero bytes two part files are there having got the size of zero bytes because nothing has been written onto the part files so let us delete them let us delete them so dfs sdfs dfs minus rm minus r and this is the output uh, path is getting deleted thanks for watching